Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the kel P17 Budget Handgun MSRP 199. It is a 22 long rifle that comes with three 16 round magazines. It has a 3.8 inch fixed barrel, adjustable rear sights, a fiber optic front sight, standard kel grip as you can see right there. Very much a budget gun, ambidextrous, Trigger guard, magazine release, ambidextrous, thumb safety. It has a plate here that just keeps all the internals in place. It looks optic ready. It's really not. And a rail right there. Unique slide design. It also has a threaded barrel. There's a thread cap on there right now. They give you a tool. You can take that off and add an adapter. A very cool little handgun for not a lot of money. Now, I've shot this before. I've shot many types of ammo through it and it has performed very nicely. Let's see how it performs today. Yes, just as I remember it. You may notice this has machine screws all over the place. More than I've ever seen on any handgun for a budget handgun though with this kind of price and performance so far. I, I've shot quite a few rounds through it. It's a fun little plinker. There's no doubt about that. I like the ambi controls especially for lefties. The disassemble is actually pretty easy. All you have to do is take these takedown levers, pull the slide back, and up like that comes the slide. That's the slide right there. And that's all you have to do to clean the gun. You can see it has a 3.8 inch fixed barrel and a fixed recoil spring right there. A single action trigger that is measuring at three and a quarter pounds. They say on the site it's a three pound trigger, but I'm measuring it closer to three and a quarter. To put it back on, all you have to do is get it in this position We'll see if I can do that. And then on comes, nope, let's try that again. I guess I have to rest it on, there we go. I hope you saw that. I showed it on my table review. It only weighs, with 17 rounds, 15 ounces. So it is very much a light handgun, a hammer fire gun. It also has on the back of the hammer this red paint right there. And then when that hammer drops that goes away so it's a charger indicator not so much a loaded chamber indicator but for the reset you're looking at right there i'm not sure that i mentioned it has an adjustable rear sight and a fiber optic front sight black serrated rear sight and it really picks up that green fiber optic nicely i think keltec came out with a winner here Many manufacturers raised the MSRP during the buying surge, and Caltech didn't, at least so far, with this P17. It's pretty nice. How about a lip wrist test? <laughs> I'll get you. And the P17 passed. The lightweight P17 may serve as a good training tool for young shooters or people that just are recoil sensitive. But I've got six rounds here, backed up a little bit. Let's see how I do one-handed from this distance. And I have a little hang up there. I was able to see that right away. It passed the lip wrist test, but yet it hung up a bit. We'll try that again. It seems that the P17 does not like, there's a double feed, see that? 
a double feed. It seems the P-17 does not like one-handed shooting. First time that I have seen that. But we'll go ahead. Chamber is unloaded, by the way. I was able to see that. Let's try that again because... Whoa. Okay, so the shell did not... Did not eject. Let's try that again here. Whoa. That three and a quarter pound trigger pull got away from me there. So that is something to keep in mind. A very light trigger pull with the P17. The website says three pounds. I measure it three and a quarter. Not that great a difference, but I have to say, I like the gun. When I first got it, I didn't think I would like it that much, but I actually do. I think it's a very cool little 22 plinker, and it reviews very well. People said that this is well worth the money with an MSRP of 199. Good luck getting it for that, though. I will mention uh, it has increased in price, at least at the dealership. Caltech kept the MSRP at 199. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.